Yum, yum! In a previous video, I showed you how you could edit the workbench that was introduced in Modo 12.2. The workbench is basically a customizable UI panel to which you can really easily add any tool or indeed any permutation of any tool with different properties or any script or any macro. Basically, it's really powerful. And then Dominic Derrida posted another video showing how you could summon the workbench as a popover form using the form editor. A little bit like when you summon the tool properties. For example, if I activate a tool and I just hit the K key, that brings up the tool properties as a popover, which I can pin if I want or unpin. It just basically means I can summon it anytime I like. So this got me thinking, wouldn't it be nice if you could just summon the workbench at any time as a popover form, rather than having to go in this panel in this one particular layout? And of course you can, so let me demonstrate exactly how you do this. So first of all, we need to know which command actually opens the workbench as a popover. So in order to do this, I'm gonna to go to system and I'm gonna open the form editor and then I'm gonna click on the find form button and I'm going to click on an empty part of my workbench panel here. And as I do that, it should locate the workbench in the form editor. And then if I click on the preview form button, that's going to bring it up as a popover that I can tear away and pin. And now if I hit F5 to bring up my command history, I can look through the command history and find the command that was fired when I opened this workbench popover. And so I'll just select this entire command, copy it to the clipboard, and then just paste it into an empty notepad window. And then I'll return to Modo. And I'll dismiss the command history. The next step is to assign a keyboard shortcut. So I'm going to go to System, and I'm going to open the Input Editor. Now, I know that hitting K will bring up the Tool Properties popover. So what I can do is just grab the command that's fired when you hit K, and modify it so that I can open the workbench with a different shortcut. So I'm going to scroll down the list until I locate the shortcut that's attached to the letter K in the unqualified list. And if I just click on it once, that allows me to grab the text and copy it to the clipboard. Having done that, I'm going to hit Escape and I'm going to return to my notepad and I'm going to paste this new command in. So the keyboard shortcut assigned to K fires this command. If I grab the syntax that's associated with the workbench and paste it in here instead of the tool properties, I can then create a custom shortcut that will bring up the workbench instead. So I'm going to select this command and copy it to the clipboard, and then I'm going to return to my input editor. And at this point, I need to choose a shortcut to assign to my new command. Now, as it happens, Control K is not assigned to anything. And that's actually quite good because then I can associate it in my mind with the tool properties. So if you have show unmapped keys and you select control, you can select control K, double click on it, and then paste the command that you've just copied to the clipboard. And that will assign it to that shortcut. So let's put this to the test. I'm gonna unpin my workbench and I'm gonna hit control K. And as you can see, that brings up this popover panel, which I can now pin. And that means that I now have access to my workbench in any Modo layout. I can go to the Animate layout if I so wish, hit Control K, and that will bring up my workbench again. So with the workbench and this keyboard shortcut, you now have a customizable UI panel that you can summon at any time in Modo in any tab with any tools on it that you wish. Now, the final step is to make sure that you never lose the work that you've created with these customizations. So the first step would be to go to Edit Workbench and to save your workbench form somewhere so that you can load it again at another time. But you also want to save the customization that you've done to the input editor when you created this keyboard shortcut. And the way to do that is to create a config fragment. So once you've done your editing to the input editor, in the same Modo session, what you must do is go to config export, and then it will ask you to choose a file name. So we'll call it workbench. I'm gonna replace the one that I've already created. And where it says fragment, you just want it to be input mappings and then click okay. And then if you go to the system menu and open the user configs folder, you should be able to locate the CFG file that you've just saved out. And if you open it in a text editor, you should be able to check if everything's okay. And if you save this as a config fragment, as I've just done in your configs folder, it will survive any updates of Modo. 
And in fact, if you save your config fragments onto a USB stick or something like it, you can bring them around with you from machine to machine. So it's a really convenient way of having customizable configs. So if you follow these steps, you should now have a workbench that you can summon at any time with the keyboard shortcut Control K. I hope you found this video useful and thank you very much for watching.